data centers make our modern world possible. I mean, if you think about how you go and book airline tickets or you, you know, interact with your bank nowadays or all the things that you want to do on your phone, the maps and the contacts and the people you want to talk to and their you know, Facebook information and tweets and such all has to go back to a data center. And computers use a lot of energy uh, and the processing power and the, and the requirements for that. And then take that and multiply it by hundreds of thousands of computers and that's the reason why the data center uses so much energy. And being a good steward is important to us to begin with, but it also has an, a significant impact on our bottom line. The first step is to look at costs and to look at those low-hanging fruit. What constitutes low-hanging fruit in a data center is cooling. So the efficiencies that we've seen alone in our cooling, for example, to go from a market lagger to a market leader in six to nine short months is a, a significant accomplishment for our organization. If I have to look at any initiative that uh, might even look like uh, a saving of one or two percent, as we are in a 990,000 square feet facility, that one or two percent would immediately translate to a lot of energy efficiency savings and cost savings. When we talk about green, it's green dollars. Anytime that you can save money, be a better steward to those resources, and have a significant cultural impact, why not do it?